I'm at my house. I'm going to start walking around my yard to find some materials to make a nice studio shot of some spring peepers we found on Sunday during the rain. I think I want to get some wire grass to kind of shoot through and maybe add some water, something like that. I don't know. You'll see. It's going to be cool. Studio's all set up, ready to get started. Let's take some photos. While handling frogs, hands should be really clean and rinsed well. My camera was on a tripod with a time release. Typically, I would hold it. However, I was trying to get the sharpest image as possible. Patience will help. Frogs will only stay still for so long. Okay, where'd it go? Well, there you go. Something to note. Taking an animal from the wild, you need to be responsible and take it back to the same place. It's its home. Also, there's genetic mapping going on, so dropping the animal off in a different population can really mess things up. Typically, I prefer to photograph frogs in the wild. However, conditions were not suitable to take my camera out, so this one I picked up. While photographing frogs, make sure you have a dipping bowl filled with water. Since they're going to move around, you're going to need it to keep them clean. The little studio I'm using is a pop-up light tent from ProMaster. For the lighting, I'm using two cheap LED floodlights from Walmart. Also using two flashes, the onboard flash and a speed light. On setting up the habitat, the goal is to make it look natural. It's good to grab materials where the animal was found. Now, I'm not going to get into camera settings and processing. There's enough stuff out there for you to look up. My end result, out of seven photos, here's the one I like the most. 